Hey guys, Daniel Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> uh, whatever part of the world that you are in, we are going to make some catfish bait. This is my buddy Wayne uh, from Wayne's Homestead. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Uh, he does. He's a good dude. He's a good personal friend of mine. He's my fishing buddy. And uh, we have been thinking about uh, catfishing here lately. And um, you know, like the little dough ball catfish bait that you can buy, we decided rather than spending six or seven dollars buying a bag, we're going to try to make our own with some stuff that every good self respecting hillbilly should have in his refrigerator. So, what we got is we got some chicken livers. I got a half of a medium onion here that I'm going to go ahead and put into a food processor. Uh, I got a couple, three, I think there's three night crawlers. Yeah, three night crawlers. A uh, big bag of fish heads. What? Like we're the only people that keep bags of fish heads in our refrigerator. <laughs> Whatever. A couple bags of the, uh, we're going to put, I guess, let's put three in there. Three fish heads. What we're going to do first is we're going to just grind all this stuff up. Actually, I need to get a little spoon. I'm putting some onion and some garlic in here because uh, when it's soaking in the water, I want to have uh, this oily stuff here that's going to leach out scent and smell and attract them into the water. But we also want to make it thick enough to where it's not going to immediately come off of your hook. So right now we've got a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, a few night crawlers and some fish heads. We're going to put them into the old food processor here. And I will tell you right now, your wife will be totally okay with you using her kitchen and stuff like that to make a fish bait. So we're just going to pulse it up. I guess we're going to turn it on first and then we'll pulse it up. some livers. They're like a dollar, dollar and a half. Blood and all. We're going to add everything in here, blood and all. And we're going to throw in a little bit of shredded, ew, ew, a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. And I probably should have washed my hands before I put my bass on. Put a little cheese in there. We're trying to get some stuff as stinky and oily as we can uh, that will all bind together in like a little dough form. And now lastly we're going to add one chicken egg or a pheasant egg or a peacock egg, whatever it is that you have laying around on your little place there. Put it back on there and pulse it again. what we're looking for. <coughs> nice and gooey and we want it really gooey like that. We want it really, you see how it just runs, it's real runny. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some, uh, get some of that bread flour. My buddy Wayne is going to, we're using bread flour. The reason we're going to use bread flour is because it has more of the proteins in it that'll make a gluten, uh, that'll make a real doughy type of dough. So we're just going to sprinkle some flour in there. And then we're going to pulse it until we get a dough ball form. Mass flour. That was one cup of flour so far. Come on, Wayne. Oh, yeah. Starting to. 
to bind up good. Yep, I think we need more. We're looking for like a, uh, almost like a pizza dough or something, consistency, or a pie crust dough. Uh, something that's a thick dough that's really sticky. These dirty rubber spatulas here and scrape. We don't want to waste any of this good old catfish deliciousness here. It's almost there, I think. Another half a cup, yep, another half a cup of flour. So what's that give us? A total of two and a half cups. Mm -hmm. Two and a half cups of flour or so. And like I said, there's not going to be any recipe. It's going to just be whatever you have laying around that you think you want to toss in the water. But this is just showing you that us normal regular dudes can try to make, I think we're going to need more. Yeah. Try to make our own uh, dough. Any kind of butchered animal parts. Oh yeah, yeah, I would say anything that's got... I mean, if you have uh, access to some beef liver or something like that, anything that's going to have, or you butcher your own animals on butcher day. Hit a little bit longer. I think that's going to do it. I would say about three cups. Three cups of flour, and that looks like it is a pretty sticky dough. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this apart. Give me a second here to uh, get our stuff together. We're going to get a little cookie sheet out and make our little dough balls, and we're going to preheat our oven to uh, 275 degrees, and we'll see you guys back here in one second. All right, so now you can see I've got a piece of parchment paper on the counter, uh, and I've got some flour here in the middle, and we are going to take our extremely sticky dough, roll it into the flour, because we want it to be just a little bit more stiff. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. We want it to be just a little bit more stiff, so we're going to work a little bit more flour into it. This stuff smells... Uh, uh, well, I guess not good, but that's the point. You know, everybody knows who uh, the fish is, catfish like. They like the stinky. Stinkier the better. All right. Now we're going to sprinkle some more flour on the top. And this is where your buddy Wayne comes in handy. All right, Wayne. I would recommend using dirty. gloves because it is pretty nasty. We're just going to knead it in and work some of that flour in. And uh, meanwhile, like I said, we got our oven preheating to 275 degrees. Because we don't, we're, not, we're not going to want to cook these. We're going to just kind of dry them a little bit. We just want to kind of dry them a little bit. Yeah, and I would not recommend this for human consumption. Disclaimer, get it out of the way. We are not catfishologists. We are not super fisher dudes. We're just a couple of hillbilly boys that like to go out and try to catch catfish and we'll try to save money by making our own bait. And uh, so disclaimer, not for human consumption, not guaranteed to catch you fish. And we're not saying you use this bait, you're gonna catch catfish all day long. That's not the point. But we'll sure have fun trying. Yes, we will. And we had fun making it. Yeah. And the kitchen sure smells whatever the opposite of good would be, I guess. And again, I'm sure y'all, you know, your wives are just going to be okay with you. Uh, maybe not. All right, our oven is beeped. It is ready. I would say that that dough is handleable. Is that even a word? Handleable. It is today. It's able to be handled now. Look at that feel. Oh man, that's sticky and smelly and stinky and I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so now we're just going to take a couple
couple of baking sheets, just a regular couple of cookie sheets. We're going to give them a spritz and spray with uh, the old non-stick cooking spray here. And we're just going to start forming our little little dough balls here to uh, about hook size, the size that you would need to, to completely cover your hook. We're just going to roll them into little, little balls like this and set them onto our cookie sheets. So once we get these made and we're going to put them into the oven and we'll get back with you here on the next step here in just a, well I guess it'll be about a second in the, the magic of YouTube land. So we'll see you here in a bit. Okay guys, uh, me and Wayne have been here uh, playing with our balls for, well, yeah, that sounded bad, sorry. Uh, we made a bunch of catfish bait. Yeah, I just, I don't want to sit there and say, me and Wayne was in our kitchen making balls. So, our oven is preheated to 275 degrees. We're just going to slide these trays in here. And like I said, we're not looking for a cook. We're just looking for drying. We're going to leave them in there for, let's start out at 10 minutes. And we'll see in 10 minutes what's going on. In the meantime, we're going to uh, clean up a little bit of the kitchen here in our mess. Because it does not smell good, even a little. <laughs> so, now we've got to start cleaning up. So we'll catch you guys here in a minute. Okay guys, so what we're doing now, after uh, the first 10 minutes at 275, the tops are still pretty squishy but the bottoms are nice and set up and we don't want these to be firm cooked so what we're, what we're doing is we're just flatten them out a little bit and then we're giving each one of them a flip and we're going to put them back in the oven for five more minutes once we're done with that and then they, they really will be good and set up and uh, whew, these things are pretty potent so I think they're going to work. Now what we're going to do is, like I said, flip them all over, give them another five minutes in there, and then we'll pull them out and uh, see how they are from there. So we'll see you guys in five minutes. Okay guys, so now here we go. We got them out of the oven. They feel good and squishy to me, and they feel malleable so you can mold them around your hook. So what, we're going to do a little experiment real quick. I've got a number five circle hook, which is what I use for catfishing, and I'm going to run my dough ball through the hook. And it already feels better than the ones that I buy, or the ones that you would buy. And you want them to be a little bit malleable so that you can mold it around your hook. And uh, you want it to be tough enough where it's not going to come off during casting. So I was going to put it in the palm of my hand and give it a squeeze and mold it around the hook. You can see I'm tugging on it pretty good and it's starting to break apart. But I think that it's going to hold up to a good cast. So and remember it is dough. So you can just form it around your hook like I'm doing here. This is how I do mine. Again, not an expert, right? Just a regular old dude. Uh, and this is how I'm going to do mine whenever I use them in the morning when we go catfishing. So another another thing that I want to see is how well is it going to hold up in the water. So I got we've got our little uh, thing of water here. We're just going to dunk it in the water and let it soak for a few minutes. And after a couple minutes, we'll pull it out of the water and see if it's real fall apart -y. I don't know, for lack of a better word, uh, see how it holds up in the water. So we'll get back with you guys here in just one second before we call it good, and uh, then we'll go see what's happening. Okay guys, here's what we're noticing. See the water, how it kind of turned a little cloudy, and there's a little bit of stuff. That's what we were hoping for. The oils from the onion and the garlic will uh, send out that little bit of an oily slick since the, uh, like on a chicken liver, when you put a chicken liver in the water, and the blood leaches out of the liver and it makes that trail for the fish to smell and follow. We're going to get the same effect in here with this liver uh, and the uh, the onion and the garlic. You can see how it's turned a little bit foamy. So it's been soaking for probably five minutes or so. So let's pull it out. See what it feels like. It still feels pretty malleable. So if you reel it in and you still have it, you are going to be able to... It looks like we're going to be able to easily mold it right back onto our hook. I like it. I think it's going to work pretty good. So, we'll uh, end this video here. Anything you want to add, Wayne? Nope. Go check out Wayne's channel. And we are going to go fishing in the morning, and we will take our balls. Ah, that's bad. But, we'll take these with us, and we'll see if we can do any good uh, catching some fish in the morning. 
So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if we can do it, we're just regular dudes. If we can do it, you guys can totally do it with whatever you have laying around in your kitchen. Uh, if you have a favorite kind of bait that you want to use, throw that in the mix and call it good. And uh, this is just an idea. This is just an idea on how we can do things ourselves. So you guys have a great day. God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz, the end.